guys welcome back to our five weekly favorites happy friday first up we went to target yesterday so kind of cheating but we decided to try these new favor day praline pecan caramels and we love the sea salt ones we talked about those before mm -hmm. but these are even better yeah the favor day brand has a ton of new like fall treats and none of them had reviews yet and they're really hit or miss as you've seen in our reviews yeah but we knew we liked the caramels so we're like let's go for yeah it. and it says limited offerings so i think these are only available mm -hmm. for fall but if you like kind of like that pecan pie taste like mm -hmm. that toasted pecan and caramels definitely try these and again like these come individually wrapped like the other ones do they taste like pecan pie they're so good they're amazing okay i have a random favorite but i got glasses i just got them yesterday so again kind of cheating but i wanted to talk about warby parker because as someone who has never had to get glasses i was like very intimidated by the process i just didn't understand because i don't think this is something anyone ever teaches you like oh you have to do this then do this so i got a prescription last friday so like over a week ago and then I wanted these glasses. So same day, I brought Britta to Warby Parker with me just mm -hmm. because I've heard so many good things. But I knew that their whole shtick is like, they don't have a ton of stores. So they mail you, like you can pick like five frames, I think, and try them on and then like pick the ones you want, send them all back and then order them. But I was like, well, we're lucky because we have a store. So I'm gonna go to the store. We walked in, it was like dead. The service was so good. This guy was just like, oh yeah, like, try on all the glasses you want and like put the ones you like here so you don't lose them mm -hmm. and then like let me know when you're done so i tried on like maybe five pairs like not too many um picked some i like pulled up my prescription on a pdf he literally scanned it into his ipad filled out everything i like paid for in the ipad and then they arrived a week later and i was just like shocked that that is how you buy glasses now it was so easy so shout out to where we parker because I was really impressed and if you want to know the frames i got i'll put them on quick i, I need to wear them to get used to them because like i said i've never worn glasses before but they're the esme these say oh esme m i got like the medium with um and they're like the i think it's called like the something tortoise shell i can put them on so you can see um i really like them i think they're really cute but i need to like i said get used to them um so i need to actually like wear them but we're filming now so did want to put them on and they come in this cute little case and i don't know about glasses prices because again first time buyer but i think they were pretty good they were like a hundred dollars and i added the blue light for 50 extra dollars and i actually think i can get them reimbursed with my insurance so i'm going to try to do that but if you need glasses where we parker i know everyone already buys them but i mm -hmm. needed to shout it out okay i found these at target and i don't i'm not even like a scrunchy gal i really don't wear my hair up all that often only like if we're on like our walks and i get it's hot it's so true and i always have mine up as yeah you can see. i it gives me a headache usually um but not with like the um invisibobbles those are fine so i usually wear those but i do like a good scrunchie and i saw these at target and like immediately was drawn to them this like deep chocolate brown color and this like sage green are so pretty for fall and it's kind of like a pleated scrunchie and i tried them on immediately when i got home and they're so cute you could like do the whole wrist thing if that's your vibe um but i just feel like they're nice they're like a nice alternative to the invis bobble because those are pretty like casual so if i actually want to wear my hair like up up in a bun i can reach for one of these and they're so cute okay i have a lip gloss favorite which i know is shocking um uh, we don't really like lip gloss, but I was like drawn to the Victoria Beckham glosses. And I was talking with Devin, Dev's Day on Instagram, our friend, and I was like, oh, I really want to buy a lip gloss. Like, what shade do you recommend? And she sent me her reel that she made that where she wore all of them. So I'll link that below so you can see. And for some reason, I really wanted either Tan Line Fizz or this one, Apertivi, Apertivo. Um, but this one was the most like fall shade to me and the most like unique mm -hmm. and like tan lines like a pale brown and i have a lot of those and fizz is more of like a cool tone rose and um i don't have a lot of shades like that but i felt like it was more like spring summer so i got this and i'm truly obsessed i have it on right now i never like lip gloss like ever this will be the only lip gloss recommendation i think i've ever given on our is team. it an actual gloss like that's how they I'd market say it's it. a gloss but they say it's like comfortable like a bomb and that's what okay. i like i feel like it reminds me of the beauty pie lip oils which we love but like a little more cushiony but not sticky at all like it's like 
it does kind of feel like a bomb, like a treatment, but there is definitely like cushion there. So the other thing is like these are like I'd say like medium pigmentation and I don't like it when things are too thin that are medium pigmented because then they're like going around your lip lines and you look yeah. like crazy. But because of like the cushion in the body this has, it doesn't go around your lip lines and it gives like the perfect amount of pigment. The shades are so pretty because now I know I need tan line and fizz. I like have to like pace my spending, but I really want to order those other two shades now. And I'm just, I think it's 100% worth the money. The packaging is beautiful yeah. as per usual. And I'm just really obsessed. I was truly shocked. I put it on as soon as it arrived and I was like, I love this. And I really do think this color is like perfect for fall. I feel yeah. like it'll, I'll get like so much use out of it. Just like with my neutral wardrobe, just like throwing this on. I love it. You must buy a Victoria Beckham lip gloss. Okay. And then last up is a podcast I talked about before, but it's back for the fall. So the beautiful mess podcast, they take the summer off, which I really admire that they like set those boundaries for mm -hmm. themselves. Elsie and Emma, if you're unfamiliar, they started the a beautiful mess blog like over 10 years ago, I think. I think like 13 yeah 14. it's been a while we've always looked up to them when we started blogging like they were like our first blog that we would read over and over they started as kind of more like DIYers and now they do all encompassing like a lifestyle blog like they do recipes and um, they're both moms so they actually just launched like a sister website called childhood magic um with a bunch of kids crafts so if you're a mom check that out anyway I love their podcast. I think it could be my actual favorite podcast because it just makes me feel happy. Like, especially during the week when we're usually pretty stressed and their podcast comes out, like I know if I listen to it, I'm just going to be in a good mood. And so they came back on this past Monday with their cozy fall episode and they basically each picked like their comfort movie and their favorite recipe to make. And it made me so excited for fall. I just was like smiling the whole time listening to it. So highly recommend their podcast if you like the whole like basically a, like a lifestyle blog in podcast form, I would say. Um, and it was just funny when they were talking about their like cozy movie pick and Elsie's like I'm still on this Knives Out kick and I agree like Knives Out I could watch over and over me too yeah I love it it's so good and then Emma said that she does this tradition but the week between Christmas and New Year's where she has hair like a Harry Potter marathon like one for each day of the week I love that idea like I really I told my boyfriend I want to implement that this year um, and then they talked about, yeah, like their favorite recipes to make. So it actually gave me some like ideas too. So I love it. It sparks joy. Check it out. Is that everything? Yeah. We had some good favorites this week. Yeah. Um, we hope you guys had a great week and we'll see you next week.